a bit, little bit, roll it up, take a hit, feeling lit, feeling like 2 a.m. summer night. Hey guys, so I thought I'd just quickly make um, this video showing you how to change your wheel studs. So as some of you may know, I've had snap wheel studs in the VT, one on either side for a while. Um, and a bloke dropped me some off today. I swapped for an Ecotech block. Um, so I'm just going to install them. I've already knocked them out. If they're snapped or rounded or whatever, you can just tap them out with a hammer. But if they're, if you just want to replace them, if they're like stretched or they're starting to get in poor condition, um, I'd suggest putting an open-ended or closed-end uh, wheel nut on them and just tapping them out, tap by tap, not too hard, until they pop out the back. This is on an IRS Commodore. Um, tap them out and then get your new studs. These aren't new, they're used, but they're still better than what I had. And just feed them through the back there. As you may be able to see, there's they're not quite little focus, they're not quite all the way in. So you just get your kind of hard to do it one handed, but you get your to put them on, use an open-ended wheel stud unless you have a tool. I'm just going to try to hold it with me for it. Um, unless you've got a tool, just use an open-ended one because they're going to come through this side compared to when you're like um, just putting your wheels on. The they don't the lug nuts don't take up as much thread as when you're trying to pull them completely through. So now what I'm going to do is I'll get my impact. This is going to be the hard bit trying to do it. Um, so, I'll just put the camera down for a sec. And all I done was hold my finger on the back of it so it didn't move. And just slowly done it up with the rattle gun until it took up just a bit of tension. And now, just go bit by bit. And then you end up using a, like, your wheel wrench thing. So I'm just going to leave a little bit there, then get your wheel wrench. For Commodores it's a 19 mil, and then just slowly and then just check every couple turns that, so I've still got a little bit to go, just check every couple turns that um, it's coming in and not, like it's coming in and once it's check that it's coming in and that it's not all the way and you're still trying to turn it so probably one or two more turns on this one and as you can see that's basically in yep now just back it off with your tool There we go, there. These studs had a little bit of rust on them, so they a bit. There you go, there's your new wheel stud in, then you just get your wheel nut. Just stir on, make sure your threads are still all good. There you go. Now you got new second hand wheel studs. So you can uh, not getting, I guess, getting a bit of shit for not having all your wheel studs, so, sweet, cheers for watching guys.